What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And do you remember at least, I mean, how many videos ago? I can only imagine, but do you remember way back when, when I said that it's going to get to a point where basically everybody in comic books, TV shows, movies, and everything like that, almost everybody or half the cast is probably going to be gay. There's always going to be like that certain LGBTQ character, that character that was only hired to check off a diversity box for whoever created the show or the movie. Well, apparently it has now come to our child because now it seems like it's coming um, canonically to the Power Rangers. So it is canon now. There is an actual LBT, LGBTQ Ranger, and it's been confirmed. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they are, uh, I mean, when I was into Power Rangers when I was a kid, obviously we, we, we all liked Kimberly and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, man, all I cared about was the action. I didn't care about the damn Pink Ranger, Yellow Ranger, none of that stuff. All I cared about, I liked the Red Ranger and the Green Ranger the most. Like, I was into the action. I was into the combat. And uh, honestly, if there was a, a LGBTQ character of any kind throughout the series, I never knew or I never cared because they never made it the focal point. But now, of course, since we are in a Woke 2022 or Woke for the last 10 years for that matter... It is the focal point of this particular character. So we're going to get into it, guys. But, of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would really greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you think of today's story. And let's get into the video, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, today's article comes from some good old bounding into comics, and here's the Ranger right here. It says, Power Rangers Dino Fury introduces series first LGBT Ranger. In the first, long, in the first for the long-running American uh, television adaptation of Super Sentai, Power Rangers Dino Fury has introduced an LGBTQ Ranger to the Morphin Grid. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? We knew this was coming eventually. It, it's, it's coming to everything. It's coming to everything. They they are going to put LGBTQ characters in everything. It's only a matter of time. And if it's not a new character, which you know what? I'm kind of happy at least it is a new character. So they're not like tokenizing a, a previous character. But at the very least, I mean, you know, they did that right. So they made it a new character. But at least it's not a tokenization. It says the American counterpart to Kishiru Sentai, I can't say that, Rosoger, and second Power Rangers series to be produced by Hasbro since acquiring the license from Saban Brands following Beast Morphers. Dino Fury follows the eponymous team as they fight to stop the villainous Void Knight and the Sporix army. Granted their powers by the ancient and alien knights of Rafcon, and Dino Fury roster consists of a Raconian pair Zayato Red and Ion Gold, as well as humans Ali Akana Blue, Amelia Jones Pink, Javi Garcia Black, and Izzy Garcia Green, the last of whom is revealed to be the series' first gay ranger. Shocker. I am so shocked right now. I am like... I don't know if you can tell in my voice, I am immensely shocked right now. The confirmation of Izzy's lesbian identity can be seen in Dino Fury's 13th episode, The Matchmaker. As the episode begins, Zayato and Javi find themselves surprised to see Izzy sporting a new and upbeat attitude, even having a friendly conversation with her longtime high school sports rival, Fern, as just last episode she had been scammed out of a significant amount of cash by money-grubbing athletics coach. So, they do the build-up. It's very obvious what's going to happen here. You know, they want to have kids watch this show you know they know children are going to watch this show and you notice that a lot of the lgbt stuff is being heavily pushed on children especially in schools and whatnot they're basically forcing killed kids and guilt tripping kids into believing a lot of this stuff and they're basically trying to pretend that oh if you're not an ally to lgbtq then you are clearly just a horrible person you have to be an ally to them otherwise it is what it is and with with the whole like LGBTQ+, plus all the other acronyms and everything like that starts to get pretty questionable. But you know what? Do you. I, I subscribe to that notion. I really do. I subscribe to that notion. You do you. You be happy with what you do. It's not my business what you do in, in, in the bedroom. I don't know why people have such an obsession over what people do in the bedroom. I don't care. I would love to have LGBTQ viewers, and I would hope that you enjoy your time here. But this forced diversity and forced indoctrination uh, of kids, especially in doing kids shows, I understand this is supposedly for teens, but let's be real. A lot of kids are going to watch this show. And uh, it's just further adding to it because they want, they want people to think this is normal. They just want... They just wanted to act like if if you really believed what was on TV half the time, you'd probably think like half the people in the world are gay and you would you would not even realize it's like what? Not even 
a few percent. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, besides the point. It says, speculating as to the reason for her optimism, the pair eventually convinced themselves that Izzy had a crush on Adrian, one of their fellow athletes, and then proceeded to set up a pair on a date. However, this, is out- this outing is unsurprisingly interrupted by one of the Void Knight's minions, Slither, who impersonates Adrian in a failed attempt to kidnap Izzy. Fighting off Slither and returning to the ranger's base, Izzy is told by Javi that he was the one who set her up with Adrian, to which his sister angrily responds by telling him to stay out of her personal life. After uncovering his motivation to track him down, the team meets Slither and fellow Void Knight minion Foxshell in battle, ultimately using the power of the T-Rex blazing Megazord to force the pair into a hasty retreat. In the aftermath of the battle, JV apologizes to Izzy for setting her up with Adrian without her knowledge, promising to talk to her about any such plans in the future. As JV turns to apologize to Adrian for some time, he notes that he still feels as if Izzy had a crush on someone. Adrian then confirms to Javi that his suspicions were correct, pointing out that behind them, Izzy is walking holding hands with Fern, her aforementioned rival. So, it seems like in this episode, they kind of build up the whole, you know, reveal of the relationship and whatnot, and uh, try to make it, you know, they, they do the whole thing justice. They try to build it up and try to uh, explore the idea of the first gay ranger. You know what? It's fine. Like, whatever. It is what it is. You're not... At this point, it's unavoidable. They're they're coming after, you know, like, they're putting forced diversity in basically everything at this point. You know, with comic books, TV shows, movies. At this point, I go into, if I'm watching a TV show or if I'm watching a movie, I'm fully expecting there to be all checked off diversity positions. All the time, all the time. It doesn't matter what I'm watching. It could even be a movie that's based off like a t- like a, a history piece or a period piece. It could be one of those, and I'll still expect it, even though it's historically inaccurate. I'll still expect it, just like the Lord of the Rings, the, the Rings of Power. I will still 100% expect it, and because it, it happens all the time, all the time. So at this point, it, it really is sad because we could have true good characters who just happen to be gay or they happen to be whatever, but no. We have characters that were specifically put in place for that specific reason because they checked off a box that that company was hoping to check off with their show so that they can say, hey, we made history, we're diverse, we're this, we're that, and the third, they can say that and they can, you know, be, I don't know, like, I guess, vindicated by saying that thing. So who knows what, you know... It is what it is, guys. It really sucks. I mean, it. I don't really... I just wish that kids could be kids, man. I really wish that kids shows could be kids shows again without this. It's like that last video I made with um, that new show on Disney+, Plus, Rise Up, Sing Out. That That is such an indoctrination show. It is ridiculous. And this one is not so bad. I mean, listen, it's, if it's a ranger who happens to be gay, okay, fine, whatever. We all know why they were put there, but... It's fine. It is what it is. But that other show, Rise Up, Sing Out, pure, pure indoctrination. It says, accepting her brother's apology, the two girls then proceed to walk off into the subset for a ramen date as the rest of the rangers wish them well. Though Izzy serves as the first canonical gay ranger in the history of the television series, she is not the first LGBT ranger in the franchise overall. In addition to Izzy, within the last six years, the franchise has introduced fans to a lesbian version of Trini Kwan in Lionsgate's 2017 cinematic reboot and a pair of original lesbian rangers, Remy and Ilarion, in Boom's comics book continuity. So that's basically it for the article, guys. And I, that's all it is, man. I just wanted to kind of bring this up and get your thoughts on it. What do you think about them introducing the first gay ranger canonically to the Power Rangers? Like I said, I don't watch Power Rangers anymore, obviously. But I have such a nostalgic thing with them that I, I when I read this sto- story, I just couldn't. I, I couldn't believe it, but I could at the same time. You know what I mean? You get what I understand, what I'm trying to say. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider giving me a subscribe. I really would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment. Let me know what you thought of today's story. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.